trust in you. Yes, we put our hope in you. Come on, declare this. You will. that God wants to show himself strong through us. And the way that he does that is there are circumstances that are beyond our natural ability, our natural control, if you will. And so when God moves by his spirit supernaturally, uh, we are inclined, at least we should be, to give him the glory. Uh, and I'll say uh, quite often, which is one of my favorite scriptures, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I would have been consumed. And I, I, I'm not deceived into thinking I'm so smart or I'm so intelligent. I'm, I, I've got so much ingenuity and I, I got it going on. I can do this thing on myself. Listen, without God, we are nothing. Let's not get it twisted. And he gives us gifts. We get that. But we've got to trust in the Lord. So we got to remember that he wants to show himself strong, not just through the preachers, but through all of us. He also wants to bless, to heal, and to deliver people at the same time. So at the same time he's showing himself strong, he wants to bless you. He wants to heal you. Come on, get your faith up today. Many things on Facebook and so many things on social media and, and read books where people are just so off from the Bible, it's scary. These are so-called preachers, so-called people who have been to seminary, all this kind of stuff. I was like, where in the world did you get that from? So if we, as the body of Christ, don't know the Word of God, we are toast. The enemy will deceive us if we don't know what God's Word says. So the gift of faith, listen now, is a supernatural faith to believe God for positive results. 